And guys, what is going on? This is the Club of the Man 1993 coming at you for day four of the WWE 30 Day Challenge. We have gone through three uh, topics so far. The first one was your favorite current uh, Raw wrestler. Second was for SmackDown. And yesterday's was NXT. Today, though, unfortunately, I can't wear a shirt regarding, you know, the answer for this question because I don't have a shirt for any of these guys because this division completely sucks. But there's some guys that I do like that I know deserve a lot better than that they're getting. So today's question is, your favorite current cruiserweight? Now, I mean, I can't count Neville because Neville is not in the company right now. He's not officially gone for good, but it doesn't seem like he's going to be returning anytime soon. Unless he returns to the Royal Rumble as Sunday's surprise entrance. So I'm not going to count him. Um, you know, I do like Jack Gallagher. Um, Mustafa Ali is also in there. Um, Graham Mentalik. TJP. There's a lot of great talented uh, cruiserweights, but there's no doubt about it. The, the best... Oh, and also, Hideo Tommy also, a, an honorable mention also, but, I mean, I, I don't want to consider him fully a cruiserweight, because, I mean, even though he's in the cruiserweight division, he deserves more than a cruiserweight. I'd say maybe um, he'd be my second pick, though, for this Hideo Itami, and uh, following Mustafa Ali and Jack Gallagher. Uh, but no doubt about it, my favorite cruiserweight, no doubt about it, is Cedric Alexander. What a talented... Dude, this man is. The show he put on in the Cruiserweight Classic. Um, I remember the, the We Signed Cedric Chance. He had some great matches against, I think he faced TJP. Well, TJ Perkins. I am going to keep calling him because I hate when they call him TJP. TJ Perkins. Um, and then he also had a good matches against Kota Ibushi as well. Um, this guy is talented. He, this guy does not need to be in the Cruiserweight division. He deserves to be Intercontinental Champion, United States Champion, World Champion for the heck of it. He could be in any one of those. And that is why I'm going to boldly say right now that I think Cedric Alexander should enter the 2018 Men's Royal Rumble match. I want to see him in that match. And give him a decent showing, I feel. Show what this guy is really made of, how talented he really is. So that's why my pick, I mean, there's not really too much more to say because they don't do too much of these cruiserweights, but my favorite cruiserweight um, is um, Cedric Alexander. Who's your favorite cruiserweight? And if you uh, haven't done so, make sure to go back and answer the other questions in this WWE 30 Day Challenge as well as my previous videos as well. Tomorrow for day five is your favorite theme song, which that one I got a pretty good pick for. But thank you guys again for tuning in. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below, either for a comment or video response to uh, play along with this 30 Day Challenge with me. And as always, be sure to click that like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter at TheManAirBoy93. That should be it for today, guys. I'm checking out. Until then, have a good day.